What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and I've been getting a number of questions about the caster set of equipment and how it works, so let's talk about it. But first, if you haven't downloaded Gemstone Legends yet, you're in luck, because in the description of this video, there's a link along with the code hashtag lion underscore 2021 hashtag, which you can use to get this free epic hero, Elador, and a bunch of other free stuff like gold gems and scrolls. And not only that, but once you start the game, you're going to be able to do beginner events where you get another free epic hero, Soliana, and a platinum scroll, which is another free epic or legendary hero and a bunch of legendary equipment. This is just a great way to start off in Gemstone Legends. And you just wanna make sure to use the code within the first three hours of downloading the game and after completing the tutorial to get this stuff. And now for today's content. All right, so one of the deals that popped up today for Gemstone Legends really caught my eye because it is the caster set and it's a five star equipment for your heroes. And this is one of the better sets in the game. Uh, and typically you only get it from the raid boss and your guild has to be doing really well, taking down really big bosses in order to get equipment that is five stars or even six stars like this. And this is all legendary equipment. So uh, this is probably about the best set you could get in the game. So some people are probably wondering, is it worth it? Um, well, let's talk a little bit about how the caster set works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my heroes who has the caster set here. When I click on equipment and scroll down to it, I want to show you the benefit that it gets. You can see that all the equipment gets um, some base boost to some stat whenever you put enough of that equipment together. So for this caster set here, you can see that you need four pieces. That's why it's in parentheses to get plus four mana. You know, see, if you scroll to some of these others, you can see you need four of the Swift equipment to get plus 25% speed. That's also a very, very good set. But uh, some of the sets only need two, so really check those out. The caster set, you do need four pieces in order to get that mana boost of four. But why is that important? It's because uh, it causes a different number of tiles to be needed to be matched in order to get your hero specials to go off. But, you know, what is that stat? Well, think about it this way. If you have a hero with a uh, mana stat of 25, then it only takes four tiles in order to set that hero special off because 25 times four equals 100. So you're trying to get to 100, right? So if your hero's mana stat is 20, then it's going to take five tiles in order to set that hero's special off. And uh, what that also means is if your hero's mana stat is lower than 20, then it is going to take at least six tiles in order to get your hero special to go off. So that is why I have my equipment on Arthur, because if you look at his mana gain, it's actually really low. That's like some of the lowest mana stat in the game at 17. And you're going to see a few heroes like this. So basically it takes six tile matches in order to set him off. So there's a benefit to me adding mana equipment or caster equipment to Arthur because it gives him plus four uh, and that's going to take him up to 21. And so I need five tiles now instead of six tiles in order to get Arthur to go off. Now that benefits these really slow heroes. Uh, you can see I've actually been trying to look for a good set of caster equipment for my Sophia too, but I needed to also have a defense boost. I'm looking for some very specific things on it. But you can see Sophia's mana gain is only 18 as well, so she really needs the caster equipment to be firing. Now let's take a look at some other heroes and what their caster stat is and how quickly they'll go off. So Zarkon's base is 21, so that means he's going to go off with 5 tiles. Um, Guinevere is at 20. So that means that she's going to go off with five. Now, here's something really interesting about the caster set. So the caster set gives plus four, right? So you can put the caster set on Guinevere, but it doesn't really benefit her at this point because she'll only go to 24 and still need five tiles in order to set her special off. That was actually one of the things that changed about Guinevere because her mana gain used to be 21. So you're also looking for heroes that have... Uh, mana stat of 21 or 
a little above in order to get to that 25 because then you'll be able to set the hero special off after just four matches. So like my Gladiosa is at 23. If I put the caster set on her, it's only going to take four tile matches in order to get her to go off. So check the uh, mana stats of your heroes. You can see Tessix is already at 25. It doesn't really benefit me to put caster uh, sets on him or anything like that. Zane is at 23. It would benefit him. My Kusai is at 22. It would benefit her. She would go down to four tiles. I just got Zoe. I'm super excited about her. I did videos about her. You can go watch her um, and everything that I've said about her. Her mana gains 24, so she will benefit from the caster set. Interestingly enough, she only needs one point of that to go up, so it's a, uh, overdoing it a little bit, but she's really good, so you might want the caster set for her too. Most of the heroes should benefit from it, but the ones who aren't going to benefit are the ones that are at like uh, level 20 already and the ones who are at level 25. So that's what you want to watch out for. All right. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I drop more of these or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.